Sun is shining. We're going to usher in summer officially. There's FIFA. There's North by Northeast. There's, what am I missing? There's a million things happening. Pride. There's Pride. Yeah. Mayor Ford's coming back soon. <laughs> and we're going to be growing fish. Good morning, Chef. Hello, we have Chef Murray Greg out with the Shore Club, which is right beside the Ritz Carlton downtown. That is correct. I've seen your restaurant. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, Melanie and I, we enjoy grilled fish, but we're kind of afraid to grill it ourselves. Nuts. I burned off an eyebrow it. once. It was bad. Yeah, so. that's yeah. And then yeah, <laughs> check the gas levels right before yes. you start. Yeah. Good. Good tip. <laughs> now, how do we begin selection of fish, and how do you feel about frozen fish on the grill? Uh, frozen, frozen fish on the grill for me. Say that three times fast. I, I find that like it gets waterlogged. So okay. when you're putting it on the grill, it kind of sticks to it, and that's the last thing you want to do. You want to have a fresh fish, one that looks like it got caught, so surprised that it got sunk into the boat. So your tip when picking a fish, this is interesting, look yep. at the eye, and yep. it should look surprised. Surprised. Cloudy eyes and sad looking, completely stay away oh, from those types. Okay, so yep. like a freshly okay. Botoxed fish. Right. Exactly. That one, you want this one. Okay, what other tips would you give us? What's the best thing to barbecue? And all this is, is, is great. Right now, we already got some clams on uh, on the uh, barbecue, and we got some mussels on the barbecue. Okay, the so, so, so hang on, step it back a bit. Sure. For people like us, the novice. Yeah. All right. You start by cranking your barbecue to the highest level. Absolutely. You close the lid. Close the lid. Get it up to 500, 600 degrees. Wait 15 minutes. Yeah, I, yeah. half an hour, why not? Half you can an stand, hour. Stand there, drink a beer while oh, you wait. Okay. Drink some do you wine. grill? Do you pre-grill the with oil? Sorry, do you pre-oil the grill? You can pre-oil the grill. You can oil the fish and all that. Let's. And speaking of which, let's get this guy on the grill. And so do you really dry the fish so yeah. that the herbs stick? You want to. You want to pat the fish pat dry. Down. Yeah. Um, so it's completely dry when it goes on, and the oil on it. And that okay. way, that the grill is hot, then it's going to kind of keep it separated. Okay. So, so after you marinate it, you pat it dry. No, no, no. Pat it dry, marinate it, get all the seasonings on it, salt, get and then the oil, and then on. Okay, so on this fish, you've stuffed it with lemon, and on the outside, you have oil? Parsley and salt. That's it. That's, That's easy. It. That's it. We score the fish as well to uh, help with the cooking process to get it done a little bit faster. Okay, what about using aluminum foil? Yay uh, or nay? Aluminum foil? Yeah. Yeah, sure. If you, if you want to like wrap your fish in the aluminum foil, mm -hmm. it'd create a pocket. And if you're going to put wine in it or herbs in it, it almost kind of creates a uh, steaming effect okay. on, on, the, on the The bottom. audience There's can't see your face. I know it's awkward to talk yeah. to us sideways, <laughs> but think like Peach Pit, Beverly Hills. Oh, okay. Now, over here, you yep. have different cooking times for everything. So, what That's is correct. the cooking time of everything? Well, uh, clams and mussels uh, usually take a little longer. You got to wait for the clams to open up. And they're starting to open up. And they've been on the grill for about five, six minutes already ahead of the time. We have the lobster and we have the shrimp. Shrimps looking ready to get turned over. How do you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for a certain color uh, pigment on the uh, on the product when I want to turn it over. Um, this is going to take a little longer as well because we left the shell on it. Uh, this is a very forgiving uh, technique, I would so say. So if you're afraid of grilling, start with shrimp with the shell on. Shell yeah. on, yeah. They, it'll lock in the moisture, uh, wrapping it with uh, Cajun spices so it'll kind of develop that flavor. The shrimp can definitely handle uh, increased flavors like uh, Cajun. Where fish, um, not so much. You want to play with light flavors uh, that will kind of uh, balance with the fish. Now those are, yeah, yeah those, these scallops are nice, big, fat, juicy, juicy. scallops, but yes. they don't take that long, right? Uh, no, usually uh, these are U10s. These are uh, from Boston, mm -hmm. so they're diver caught uh, from Boston. Um, U10, if you're ever going to the, uh, the market or the grocery store, that means it's uh, under 10 sh scallops per pound. Okay. So how so long on each side? Because you say don't over rotate. You, you, know, you don't want to play, you know, patience is is best when it comes to dealing with fish, I think, yeah. on the grill. It's the, you know, it's like everyone's like playing around with it, flipping it around. You're just going to destroy the product that much quicker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? So, so maybe three flips maximum? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're not feeling comfortable with uh, dealing with the, uh, the whole fish. Yeah. Um, are we sticking? Yeah, a little sticking yeah, a little bit. What happens when that happens? Do you just like spray you, more oil? Yeah, go. You work oh, with it. Just okay. like that. How long would that big fish take? Uh, I'd say about like eight minutes. And that's, eight minutes. We scored it, like I said, so it's starting to kind of develop the flavor. The eyes are starting to go. We also have the scallops on. If you don't feel comfortable with this, yeah. we got you can get your meatier fish, okay. right? So you can get swordfish and, and salmon that are a little bit more meatier, a little bit more fun. Um, and you then it stays away from all this. You're better undercooking. Undercooking, right? yeah. These are items those... that you want to kind of go for a nice, like, uh, medium doneness on Ooh, it. That looks good, good grill marks. Yeah, yeah. So, with the swordfish and the salmon, they have the same cooking time? 
Swordfish and the salmon roughly have the same okay. cooking time because you're looking for the same doneness. Yeah. As long as you also keep it with the same same thickness. And okay. then you have these gorgeous little tapenades and salsas. Yes. Take us through. This reminds me very much of what they do in Europe. It's okay. just like olive oil and herbs, right? So this is olive oil and herbs, uh, lemon, and then that's for the calamari. Oh. oh. So that, that marinade if you want to like sure. mix that up. And then how long does it sit in the marinade? Just a little bit. The calamari cooks pretty quickly. These look like they're ready to come off, so we'll start pulling these guys off. And then you have like a pineapple there, we have there a salsa. Mango? Pineapple, mango, Ooh, yeah. cucumber. Good call, Mel. Yeah. And then what is this one? It's little bits of, is it parsley? That is uh, sun dried tomato or dehydrated tomatoes with parsley, garlic. Um, I want all of it. I know. And uh, olive oil. Chef, take your time. Melanie and I will be here for at least another 20 minutes. At least. Okay. To indulge in your delicious barbecue eats. Uh, right, thank Melanie? You. The oh, Shore yeah. Club .ca, or follow them on Twitter at the Shore Club CA and get grilling. And it's healthy grilling for you. Forget the same old barbecue hot no. dogs and hamburgers. Try this. Right Mix now, it up. we're going to go fish with Jen Valentine and Kevin Frankish.